talk, talk about GSRTA2. Uh, still working with similarity. This is worksheet three and deals with now that we established the triangles are indeed similar. Uh, and usually the way that's established is that they'll tell you what triangles are similar like with a, a similarity statement or state that the ones below are similar and then once you know that you have two things that you can work with uh, you can work with the fact that sides are proportional and the second thing that you might be asked about is angles and angles are congruent so um, we'll look at some specific examples of the business of solving. I want to get to two of the um, typical errors or pitfalls that students find here. Uh, the first one comes with what I call the overlapping triangles. And what I mean by that is triangles where they are inside of each other. And when I get to the physical paper and pencil, uh, I will reiterate this because I don't know how many times I've taught this over the years and it still does not uh, make sense or connect to students to stay away from this error. But a lot of students will look at this and say, oh this is quite simple, 2 is to 3 as x is to 10, 2 to 3, x to 10. They assume they're on the right track, they cross multiply and move on to the next question. This is totally wrong and here's why. The 2 and the 3 represent pieces or portions of a side, a ratio of pieces on a side. The x and the 10 are not pieces of a side. They are both entire length sides. And so uh, soon we'll learn that we could compare these pieces to these pieces. But I'm telling you right now that 2 to 3 is not the ratio of x to 10. The correct ratio actually would be 2 is to 5. Uh, and you say, whoa, where does 5 come from? When you and I did the ratios earlier on on a previous worksheet, we learned that sometimes we want to compare a part to its whole. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing here. We're saying the entire side 2 is to the entire side 5. It's the sum of those two items. As the entire side x is to 10, we cross multiply and then we get the same answer. I always tell students to pull these out. So it always uh, works better if they draw them as separate entities. And uh, again, you can mark them or, or show them uh, however to keep track of, of those angles and things so you can see how it works. But you can see the 2 is to the 5 as x is to 10. The other thing that happens, and I love this kind of tricky question, unfortunately teachers like tricky questions, but students will be told that, that these two triangles, uh, and maybe I should create a, a statement, so let's call this A, B, C, D, E, and I might say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle E, D, C. Now, now students will immediately look at a problem like this and say, ah, I see uh, how it goes. Or actually, what, they'll prob what we probably need to do is uh, drop, say, one of, one of these values and solve for x. So um, students will go, I see 5 is to 10, no problem there. Um, and they'll say, let's see, uh, 11 is to x. Um, so they're saying the 5 is to this 11 is this 11 is to this x and they solve. And you say, yeah, that's the way to do it. But be very careful. When there are no angle markings, you have to realize that things, if they are similar, grew proportionally. And so what that means is the largest in this triangle must go to the largest in this one and so on. And so uh, the smallest is the 5 to the 11. And then uh, the other thing you can use is, is notice it's A, B, C and E, D, C. So E, D is to match up, E, D is to match up with the A, B. So actually to solve this it would go 5 is to 11 as 10 is to X. I think what's happened 
is it's been reflected and enlarged. You need to use all of your clues. Use the uh, congruence statement to help you to know who goes to who. Use the fact that if there aren't markings, uh, but they are similar, then it will always be smallest to smallest, middle to middle, large to large. Let's go look at some. Once we know things are similar, we know two things. We know that they'll have congruent angles and that their sides will be proportional. So in this case, they are actually telling us here that these guys are similar and then want us to solve things. Now, the similarity statement certainly helps us a lot to know, you know, which sides match up with which sides. So for instance, I have a 2 here. This is my CD. It's 2. And I want to know which does it match in the other one. So CD here matches up with uh, CB. You see that? So here's my CD and here's my BC. So the 2 goes to the 5. And that means my 3 goes to my Y. And it also means that the 2 goes to the 5 and the X goes to the 8. So you just set up the proportions uh, and then solve. But can you see how I was able to do that? I, I found out using my similarity statement 2 to 5, 3 to y, 2 to 5, x to 8. The 2 to the 5 is the very important one to find because that's your, your scale factor between the shapes. And then you just cross multiply and uh, solve for x and for y. Here, uh, here's another situation. Again, it says these are similar doesn't give us a similarity statement, but this time it gives us some angles. <clears throat> so watch carefully here. Um, I'm going to use the 3 right here just because it's the first thing I saw. Now it's between the vertical angle and the dot. So the vertical angle and the dot actually is the Y in this case. Um, so let's try the 4. The 4 here uh, is between the vertical angle and the star, which is the vertical angle star is to the 5. There it is. So 3 is to y as 4 is to 5 in this case. And then uh, we could do the same thing. 4 is to 5. 4 is to 5 as x is to 6.25. And then again, cross multiply and solve. Be very careful, uh, obviously, about looking carefully at the angles and those types of things. Now, this is the classic uh, overlapping triangle. This is a dilation. Can you see it using vertex A? There's our classic dilation. And uh, lots of errors are made here. And why they're made is because the 2 and the x are uh, a certain ratio and the 1 and the 3 are a certain ratio. The 6 and the y are working on a different ratio set. Let me explain why, see if you can see it. Uh, the 2 is a full side of a triangle, but x is not. 1 is a full side of a triangle, but the 3 is not. The y is, and the 6 is. So I always counsel students, pull these guys apart. And in doing so, you're going to label them as full sides of triangles. Let me show you what I mean by that. <clears throat> Do you see how the 2 and the 1 and the y, they are all normal because they're all full sides of the little guy. Notice the big triangle is not x, it's 2 plus x. And this side is 4 and this side is still 6. Now everything is labeled based off of a full side of a triangle. This is a good thing. So now you can set it up. So you can say 2 is to 2 plus x as 1 is to 4. And you can say y is to 6 as 1 is to 4. Classic, classic error right here in this diagram. Every time you have overlapping triangles, <clears throat> different ratios exist. The pieces, but also full parts. And you do not want to mix them. Here's what students classically do. They'll say 1 to 3 as y is to 6. Let me again explain why that's so bad. You're naming pieces in a ratio, but then you're naming full sides. There's no pieces in y and no pieces in 6. This is not the correct way to do this problem. Uh, maybe just a couple of quick other looks. I, I think you get, you're getting the idea here. Um, 
again, always be uh, cognizant of angles. So if I'm going to pair things up, be careful not to just pick things that look the same. But this 12 uh, is between the non-angle and the star, the non-angle and the star. So 12 is to 15. As 15 is to, looks like x cross multiply solve, and then 12 is to 15. 12 is to 15 as y is to 20 and so on. I got to do this just one more time to make sure you get what I was getting at earlier. Overlapping triangles. Be so careful. Label things in terms of full triangles. So for instance, 8 is to 10. See what I'm doing? 8 is to 10 as 10 is to 10 plus x, for instance. 8 is to 10. 8 is to 10 as y is to 15. Classic, classic errors right here. Students say 8 is to 2 is y is to 15. Look at that. That's horrible. 8 is to 2 as y is to 15. Garbage. Be careful with that.